begin today with news I'm sure you're very much aware of, and that is the fact that Charlie Blackman yesterday on Instagram announced that this will be his final week of playing Major League Baseball. Originally a second-round pick out of uh, Georgia Tech back in 2008, played 14 seasons all in purple, and he has made his mark. Four-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, an all-time Rocky. For the Rockies, it's their own right-hander, Ryan Feltner, 3-10, 4.73 ERA. His last start here against Arizona, outstanding. One run allowed in six and two-thirds innings against St. Louis. Two starts, he's gone one and one. For Ryan Feltner, his 29th start overall is four. 14th at Coors Field. Maybe fatigued a little bit down the stretch here. Pitch swing and a miss. What a dandy sweeper by Ryan Feltner. And in three pitches, he disposes of Mason Wynn. Quick and good start. Now the left-handed hitting Alec Burleson hits it up the middle. Tovar shaded behind second, has it, throws over to first. And the Cardinals being aggressive and Ryan Feltner taking advantage of it. Veteran Paul Goldschmidt. Last year of his contract with the Cardinals, and a lot of people think this will be his last week with the Cardinals. He hits a bouncing ball to third in between Hop. McMahon's got it. Low throw to first, handled by Michael Tolia in six pitches. A one, two, three first for Ryan Feltner. Greedy comes in with a record of 2-0, and an ERA of 0.90. His last appearance was in relief, a game against Pittsburgh. Three scoreless innings with four strikeouts. Tonight will just be his second start. The one other start way back on July 31st against Texas. He pitched well and gave up one run over seven innings. Designated hitter. The first of many special moments in this final week of Charlie's glorious 14-year career. There'll be a ton of fans, obviously, on the weekend, knowing now that Charlie's retiring. Capacity crowds on the weekend. Now Charlie locks in, as he always has. <laughs> and Charlie wears one, because that's who he is. So Charlie goes to first. Rockies have a base runner to begin the evening against McGreevy. Tovar hitting at 267. The pitch, there's a chopper toward third. Arenado throws to second, just in time to get the out on Blackman. Wow. A close play, but it goes 5-4, with Arenado finding Donovan, and a good stretch by Donovan helped out. So two gone, runner at first base. Here's Ryan McMahon. The runner goes on three and two, a swing and a miss. A breaking ball strikes out McMahon. One hit for the uh, Cardinals. That's the only hit in the game. That was Yvonne Herrera, two out single in the second. Siani batting 235. Pitch is scorched into right field. Siani has a leadoff single. So a fast man aboard to start inning number three for the Cardinals. Let's see if Siani does some running. He leads the club with 19 stolen bases. Runner goes. Great jump. Pitch is a strike. The throw to second is not. And Siani has stolen his 20th base. Mason Wynn, a good contest guy ordinarily has a big hole on the right side of the infield swing and a drive hammered it deep left field Mason Wynn got him over and in with a two run homer well Mason Wynn getting things going here for the Cardinals early on a Mason Wynn big fly his 15th of the year and the Cardinals jump out on top here in Denver Two to nothing. Mason wins. Mason well did done. not swing hard enough to break glass. No, he didn't. He met that one on the sweet spot and drove that out of here. So we've had a line drive from Michael Ciani, a home run by Mason Wynn, a sharply hit ball by Alec Burleson that produced an out, and Goldie spanked one in the center field. So here's Nolan Arnado struck out to begin that second inning for the Cardinals. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. He does just that on a slider in the dirt. Big second out for Ryan Feltner. Another strikeout for Feltner. That's number four. Two on and two out. Two nothing. St. Louis here in the top of the third. And there's back to their bases. Ryan Feltner gets a new baseball. Back to work against Devon Herrera. Here's the pitch. And lifted into right field. Jordan Beck is going to come on, make the catch, and there's the third out. But the Cardinals score first. They get the home run from Win to take a 2-0 lead. Middle of three. One out for the Rockies here in the third inning. Zarin Schunk, the second baseman. Brendan Rodgers was scratching the lineup. Schunk drives one to deep left field. Did he catch all of it? You bet. Home run number two for Eric Schunk. And he makes it 2-1. He was ready, and he ambushed McGreevy. We've noticed the bats keep getting better and better for Aaron Schunk. Aaron Schunk gets the Rockies on the scoreboard. First pitch swinging, rips the ball to left field for the home run. 
Six game hitting streak now for Aaron Chunk. Two to one at St. Louis. Now Charlie Blackman's back up there. Charlie got hit by a pitch back in the first inning. High fly ball, a fairly deep center field. Charlie just got under it enough that it's playable for Ciani. Sure, that felt good on the barrel, but just got under it. Two outs, that'll bring up Tovar. Swing and a miss, or did he uh, tip it? No, he didn't. He is out on strikes. Three strikeouts for McGreevy. We've played three here in Colorado. Cardinals leading the Rockies 2-1. to one. one rookie against another, and Michael McGreevy outfoxed Jordan Beck through that fastball on the inside and got him to roll it over to the second baseman, hit it off the handle. I think that's exactly what pitcher and catcher were looking for right there. So a good looking rally is still alive, but they'll need a two out hit from Aaron Shunk. This is slowly hit to third. Could be a base hit. It will. Aaron Shunk hit his first ball about 370 feet. That one goes about 85 feet. And the same result, it drives in a run. 2-2 two -two ball game. Charlie Blackman, who has been hit by a pitch and flied out to deep center. Bottom of the fifth. We're tied at two here at Coors Field. Aaron Shunk, the runner at first with two outs. Driven to the gap field. Just put the Rockies in front. And guess where he's heading? Triple time for Chuck Nasty. The all-time Rockies leader with yet another. It is final week in the big leagues. Three, two, Rockies. On day one of Charlie Blackman week. His fifth triple this year. His franchise leading 68th triple in his wonderful career in purple. We head to the seventh with a 3-2 Rockies lead. Ryan Feltner's out. Victor Vodnik is coming in. Runners at second and third for Mason Wynn, who has the two Cardinal RBIs. A two-run home run in the third inning. Ground ball. Oh, the pitcher has it. Now he's got Newbar hung up. The throw to third. Now he's still hung up. And advancing to third is... Uh, Victor Scott, they're going to run him back to the bag, and now Victor Scott is going back to second, and all the runners are going Unbelievable. Back. I've never safe. seen that. I've never seen it either. They ran him back to third. Scott was already there, but no one was covering second and first. Typically, that never happens, but both runners ran back to their bags. That was heads-up base running for the Cardinals. And the bases are loaded. Wind reaches on a fielder's choice. On the ground. Tolly at a second for one. To first. Bad throw. One run scores. Scott will hold it third as it ricochets back toward first. So the Cardinals get the game tied on a force play. It's a 3-3 game. Newt Barr comes home on the errant throw. Close ball game in Denver. It's the Cardinals three, the Rockies three. The go-ahead run is on second with two down. And Jordan Walker coming up. Chance for some uh, close and late heroics here. Hard hit ball, base hit left. Here comes Arenado around third. Hilliard's throw is going to be late. And Jordan Walker with two strikes and two outs rips a single to left, and the Cardinals are back in front. Went back to the well, belt high, and he made him pay for it. Now Victor Scott the second. He was up as a pinch runner when Matt Carpenter doubled in the seventh inning. And he hits one on the ground. That's through for a base hit. New bar around third. He's going to try. Here comes the throw from Cave. It's going to be late. Victor Scott with an RBI single. He takes second on the throw. And the Redbirds extend the lead to 5-3. to three. Victor Scott the second. Welcome back. Now Scott is on second. Walker at third with Mason Wynn coming up. That's knuckled down the first baseline. That'll drop for a run scoring hit. Two runs will score. Win to third. He's got a double. And the Cardinals are pulling away in the eighth. A Coors Field hit turns into two more St. Louis runs. How about the kids in this inning? It's Walker with the RBI. Victor Scott, the second with an RBI single. And now Mason Wynn brings in two more. Four on the day. Big inning for the Cardinals youngsters. On to the home half here in Colorado. The visiting Cardinals lead 7-3. to three. Charlie Blackman, who had an RBI triple his last time up. This ball clubbed to deep right field, and it's over the head of Newton. And Charlie has a double to go with his triple tonight. Well, if it's going to be his final week in the big leagues for Charlie, might as well make it as good as you can. Been on base three times, now got hit by a pitch that first time, and then the triple and now the double. So two hits, both extra base hits for Charlie Blackman. 24 doubles 
now for Charlie this year. On to the bottom of the ninth in Denver with the Cardinals leading 7-3. 7-3 Cardinals runner at second two outs in the Rockies ninth. The Cardinals are one out away from their 80th win. The pitch and that stroke to center field. Victor Scott is there. He has it for a Redbird winner in Denver. Cave with a fly out to center and this ball game has come to an end. The Cardinals win game one of the road trip beating the Rockies in Denver seven to three.